Is Deku the strongest amongst the three main students in class 1A? Bakugo, Todoroki, is Deku the strongest? So let's have a discussion. First of all, I'm the one Strat. If you enjoy these My Hero Academia videos, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Without holding back, let's get right into this video. Play the intro. <laughs> I personally think 20% Deku, like 20% using one for all, is on the level of Todoroki and Bakugo, or even higher than that. Now, you might be like, okay, that's crazy. 20% Deku, and you're not even counting 6 quirks, because Deku now has 6 quirks, which he obviously hasn't mastered yet. Um, but he could probably use them in situations, in dire situations. So if he was versing Todoroki and Bakugo, and it was an all-out fight, and he would be in a dire situation, one of those 6 quirks might help him in that situation. You never know what type of quirks this guy might even have. Okay, uh, we only know one of them, which is Black Whip, and Black Whip is pretty useful. Now, these six quirks he has might not be combative quirks, they might not be used for fighting, but I'm assuming at least one of them could help him in a fight. Okay, at least one or two. I'm gonna say if Baku and Todoroki versus Deku, and Deku only uses 20%, I don't think he could take them both on. I think it's gonna still be a battle, especially if Baku has been training as well, because we know he's been training uh, ever since Deku went to overhaul and stuff like that, and Todoroki's probably been training as well, so they've probably even gotten stronger. So I don't think Deku could take them on without using six quirks. I think 20% Deku, maybe he could take one of them out, but the other's gonna definitely take... Uh, Deku out with him, okay? As Deku's quirk, one for all, makes him a really well-rounded fighter, so it's gonna be hard for both sides. Not only gonna be hard for Deku, it's gonna be hard for Bakugo and Todoroki. And Bakugo is a battle genius, so he just knows how to fight. And Todoroki has the range to help Bakugo. So you can see, like, Todoroki, like, sending out ice waves of ice, and then Bakugo just flying over them, and kind of attacking Deku, keeping Deku at a range, because they don't want Deku to get into that close range. Because Deku's prime attacks are his close range. He doesn't want to do the finger flick, because that's gonna hurt his fingers. So he wants to come in close, and then start doing damage that's what Deku's gonna try to do so best scenario is keep him at a distance and attack the problem is Deku's pretty fast okay so he could easily get past that ice in 20% using and get behind what's it called using full cow will get behind Todoroki and start attacking him now that's where I think if he takes out one of them the other's gonna take him out right when Deku gets personnel okay I feel like the other one's gonna use it that somewhat to their advantage and I think it's still gonna be a hard fight for Deku um now if Deku starts using the six quirks but he, he hasn't mastered them but so let's say Let's say Todoroki and Deku, I mean Todoroki and Bakugo are too much for Deku, right? And they're putting him in a dire situation where he needs to use one of these other quirks. Now the quirk that comes out is obviously going to be a, a quirk that he needs in that situation. We don't know what it's going to be, but it's probably going to help him and help him drastically. So that's what I'm thinking. So I think Deku would win the fight if, if he uses his six quirks. I think if he doesn't use his six quirks, it's going to go to Todoroki and Bakugo. I think he could at least take down one of them in a two-on-one -on -one fight. So... At this point, I still do think Deku is stronger than Bakugo and Todoroki. This is a quick discussion. I have to do this quick because this week I'm pretty busy. I have family over, as I said on Twitter. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, I let, I let you guys know what's going on in my life. And that's why I haven't been doing One Piece chapter reviews. Uh, because they, happen, they tend to come out late at night. And I just can't be up that late because, you know, I have family over and they're trying to sleep. Uh, they're going to be here for like two to three weeks. So... One Piece chapter reviews will come out again, don't worry. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'm the one try. That was a pretty short video. There's not really much to discuss about that. I want to discuss this in the comments. It's more of like a comment type of video, you know. Have the comments riled up. One side of Toto one side team Todoroki and Baku, the other side Deku. Okay. Um, but other than that, I'm the one strat. Make sure to subscribe for more My Hero Academia content, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out, guys.